Well, the program 23 million Americans have used over the last few years is winding down, according to the Federal Communications Commission. The Affordable, the Affordable Connectivity Program helps low-income families and individuals pay for access to the Internet. I don't get a lot, so that, that would hurt. So take a look at this. More than 500,000 people on both sides of the state line have benefited from this program. Kansas has received more than $71 or $71 million from the FCC, while Missouri received more than $217 million. And if Congress doesn't act, families will start paying more for Internet access as soon as next month. KSHB 41 reporter Abby Dodge amplifying the voices of those just scrambling to find a solution. Hoping and praying it. Things get right. Russell Wood signed up for the Affordable Connectivity Program two years ago. He's been living without an internet bill until next month. But to find out that I may lose that, wow, that's big difference. You know, I'm trying to figure out how I'm, you know, going to ship this money here or pay for that here. Russell has been using the internet to shop around for better deals, but is certain he'll need to make sacrifices. Yeah, $15 is something, you know, every month and it adds up. His internet modem connects Russell with resources, entertainment, and his family. Me and my mother, we, we talk on the phone uh, quite frequently. That really helps me, you know, and it puts me at peace because I call my family members every day to check on everybody, you know, make sure everybody's good. Digital Equity Program Office Director Tom Esselman says thousands of people in Kansas City will seek a different source of connection come summer. The highest demand is going to be libraries because libraries are institutions that are trusted and thought of the most. Esselman says they fought for the continuation of the program, but are now switching gears. We're trying to be proactive about working with the other resources that the government's willing to provide. Russell says he hopes Congress can keep their constituents connected. We need you to sit down at the table, listen to what the people want, because that's who you work for. You know, not for yourself or not for your own self gain. You work for the people. Do something. You, our voices were yelling out. Help. Affordable connectivity program participants will receive a reduced credit for the month of May, but after that, the program ends. My colleague Charlie Keegan reached out to local members of Congress to see where they stand on the issue. Charlie? Both the U.S. House and Senate have bills to extend the affordable connectivity program but neither chamber are scheduled for a formal vote, and we know that clock is ticking. Members of the House are taking an extra step, something called a discharge petition, to essentially force that vote. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver told us he supports that approach, saying, in part, it's imperative that we put people over politics and fund the ACP. Congresswoman Sharice Davids in Kansas also supports extending ACP funding. She said she will continue working with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle to ensure all Kansans can access affordable broadband. Mostly Democrats support this extension, but Republican Senator Roger Marshall of Kansas is on board. He told me this program makes sure that families have the tools to succeed in today's digital age. Republican Senator Josh Hawley in Missouri also told us he supports this extension. I'm concerned about it, just like I'm concerned about the lack of broadband access in many places of our state, particularly in our rural areas. We'll watch bills in both chambers and let you know when those votes take place. I'm Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News. May is the final month people will receive this benefit if Congress doesn't pass an extension to fund the program.